Welcome to More Than a Song, where you get a chance to experience great music in an intimate concert setting. You'll also get a chance to go beyond the lyrics with the artist to get the God experience revealed in their journey. I'm Denise Graves, and on today's show, we will feature Nancy Honeytree. She's a pioneer in the early days of contemporary Christian music called Jesus Music, which started gaining momentum in the early 70s. She was influenced by mainstream artists such as Joni Mitchell and Carol King. She's recorded 17 projects to date, while her early recordings chronicle her newfound faith that attracted many to her transparent style. She kicks off our show with Rattle Me, Shake Me. Here's Honey Tree. street about nine o'clock kicking up my heels just taking a walk I was smiling a smile singing a song and swinging my arms just trucking along wasn't it a shame that I had to stop I was rudely interrupted by a mean old cop who said kid anybody as happy as you are has got to be loaded and I said, but officer, you can rattle me, shake me, smell my breath, and make me roll up both of my sleeves. Search me anywhere you please, but I'm clean. I got nothing to hide. I said, the reason I'm happy is because I got this spirit inside. And officer, did you know Jesus loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life? And he said, oh, I'm sorry I bothered you. Move along. Well, I got back home about quarter to ten, and my mom said, honey, now where have you been? She said, I've been reading about this marijuana weed. Anybody as happy as you are has got to be doing something wrong. And I said, but mama, you can rattle me, shake me, smell my breath, and make me roll up both of my sleeves. Search me anywhere you please, but I'm clean. I got nothing to hide. I said, the reason I'm happy it's because I got this spirit inside. And mom, you don't have to worry about me because I found out if you know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you don't need anything else. Hallelujah. And she said, oh no, we got a fanatic in the family. Well, the very next day I was off to school. Now by this time, I knew I had to play it cool. Well, I got to my class and I sat in my place, but I forgot all about that smile on my face. The teacher saw me grinning and she asked me what for. When I told her I was happy, she marched me out the door and straight to the principal's office and he said, I'm sorry, but anybody as happy as you are has obviously been smoking in the boys' room. And I said, but sir, I'm a girl and you can rattle me, shake me, smell my breath and make me roll up both my sleeves. Search me anywhere you please, but I'm clean. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. I got nothing to hide, paranoia, goodbye. I said the reason I'm happy is because I got the spirit inside. I'll sing it with me. stand and in 
never seeing him. Clean before my Lord I stand and am mean not one blemish does he In 1983, Honeytree was formally ordained as a minister and thrived in leading a singles adult ministry in Fort Wayne, Indiana. In 1990, she married John Miller, also an ordained minister, and they have one son. Her last few music projects focused on the Spanish and Urdu languages. She ministers in many Spanish-speaking countries and in the Middle East while keeping a U.S. concert schedule. Recently, Terry Black sat down with Honeytree to catch up on how her story has impacted the kingdom. Honey Tree, I am so thrilled to be able to spend some time with you. You know, I have my earliest memory of not really meeting you, but getting to hear your music in 1978 at a uh -huh. Jesus festival. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes, and you came out and you had one, that ha your hat on. Blue jeans hat. Yes, and you had long braids. Mm -hmm. And my song that I heard you sing, and I still think of it, is the Rattle Me Shake Me, oh, as I well as many. That. <laughs> that's one of the ones people request most often really? still. So, I mean, it's been several years. Oh, I wrote it in 1975. <laughs> so. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So it has lasted a long time. Yes, I mean, you are considered to be like the, what, the Jesus, uh, from the Jesus music, the right. first lady I'm, of Jesus music. I am one of the, the, the female artists of Jesus music, and uh, Rattle Me, Shake Me was a song about how we were so happy that people thought we were stoned. That's right, yeah. But it was really the Holy Spirit that Absolutely. was in our hearts. And, so all that time since 1975 till now, mm -hmm. you have been involved in singing for Jesus. Yes, I have. 45 years I've been singing for Jesus. I'm oh so excited goodness. about that. You're still excited about it after all these years. Well, yeah, because mm -hmm. it's gone through various, evolved through various stages mm -hmm. and it keeps getting more interesting all the time. I'm sure. I'm sure it does. Now, what were some of your... Do you have a favorite songs or songs that really meant a lot to you in your writing well, at all? Well, Clean Before My Lord was one of the, oh, like maybe the second song. song that I wrote after mm -hmm. I became a born again Christian. And mm. it was just a simple, clean before my Lord I stand. And in me not one blemish does he see. You know see? it. <laughs> I told you, I have your That's albums. <laughs> Which, that song, by the way, was sung by Evie, who I was know. winning all the Dove Award Female mm -hmm. Artist of the Year. And so that kind of put me on the map as a, as a singer-songwriter. Okay. And uh, Word Music uh, right. published my songs. And 
Well, how many albums ha have you had? Well, I've done between albums and CDs, probably right. 17 or 18 recordings. That, that is a lot. Mm. Oh my goodness. Do you and do you consider yourself? You talked about you write music, yes. like Evie sang some of your songs, mm -hmm. and um, you sing music. Do you consider yourself a songwriter, singer, or how would you, if some, if you were to talk about? It? You know, we just use the word singer songwriter. Okay. It just means that you basically sing your own stuff. Mm -hmm. But I did get to sing Larry Norman's "I Am a Servant," I love that which song. is one of the most powerful songs mm -hmm. of the Jesus movement, and also mm -hmm. Phil Kagi's "Lovely Jesus." Yes. So, mm -hmm. and but um, by and large, I wrote the stuff that I mm -hmm. sang. How does how does the writing come about? All different ways. I mean, like, <laughs> I have a song right now called Up to Something Good that I wrote while I was washing the dishes. I was just bored. <laughs> you know, I said, Lord, give me something to get through the dishes. Oh, my goodness. And I, so I wrote, I'm going to believe that you are up to something good. And it's a paraphrase of Romans 8, 28, for we okay. know that God causes all mm -hmm. things to work together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. How we sometimes don't understand what's happening in life, but God's right. always doing something good. That's right. Well, and, that's a good mem That's good to yeah, remember. And the Lord, mm -hmm. even though this is very simple, it's kind of a Latin-y sounding song, mm -hmm. it was translated to Spanish and uh, became a favorite in Latin America amongst uh, the centers of faith, hope, and love. and. It's just a, a song that gets out there and really touches people's hearts. Now that's something you mentioned about Spanish. Mm -hmm. So are, is your music being translated into other languages? Yes. Um, I started in 1991 at the, with the help of a missionary named Ruth Martinez, mm -hmm. translating my songs to Spanish. And then I also learned to speak Spanish. So I've been uh, singing in Spanish ever since then and just getting wow. kind of getting growing in sure. my in sure. my Spanish and what, do you have other languages as well that yes you know, I recording? sing in uh, Urdu of Pakistan never heard of that isn't that a beautiful name Urdu it's Urdu. Uh, mm -hmm. it's the uh, official language of Pakistan okay and um, I have 11 songs in, in the Urdu language oh my goodness that, you know our honey tree songs which yes. we've translated mm -hmm. and then I've also sung a little bit in Farsi for Iran Oh and now I'm learning to sing in Arabic, so I'm very excited about that. So there's always something yeah. in terms of ministry. Now, always something mm -hmm. that the Lord's challenging you to learn and mm -hmm. go forward. And, and uh, you know, I mean, right now I just feel that God has sent so many people to our nation from various nations. Mm -hmm. Uh, I live in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're not that far from Dearborn, Michigan. Okay. There's 300,000 Arabs that live there. Really? Yeah. I am shocked. So yes. we have a lot of opportunities to share. Mm -hmm. uh, churches will have English as a second language classes and, and uh, we'll come in for the party to celebrate, oh. you know, that they've graduated and sing some Jesus songs for them so they can understand them in Arabic. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, throughout all of your years in ministry, you started out as in the Jesus music, and right. so you said there were some transitions. Yeah, I would say that in the first 10 years, I was in youth ministry. During okay. the Jesus movement, I did all kinds of youth groups and colleges and festivals mm -hmm. and concerts, and it was really youth ministry as I look back on it. And then, uh, but you know, it would, there was a time when I felt that anointing lifted off of me because okay. a new generation of youth came along that I didn't really relate to. Okay. And so I struggled for a while, like, what am I supposed to do? I just mm -hmm. kept on singing, but it yeah. was difficult mm -hmm. because I didn't feel that same connection. Uh -huh. But then I was single. I was okay. a single adult mm -hmm. and the Lord started reviving me as a single adult. Just, mm -hmm. I just, you know, like said, okay, I rededicate my life whether I ever get married or not mm -hmm. and I wrote things like single heart mm -hmm. so I did in fact you have it here you I have I do because you were at my I was going to graduate school and uh -huh. you came to it was at CBN and you came and spoke Praise and shared because we were all pretty much yeah. all of us were single so Praise that God. that was awesome so too. and anyway mm -hmm. the Lord showed me then that my new field that I was supposed to concentrate on was single adults and mm -hmm. I did that all through the 80s okay and just enjoyed it and mm -hmm. I learned to speak as well as sing because I went to conferences mm -hmm. and did workshops and talked about things that the Lord was doing in my own life. And mm -hmm. Then um, I got married in the 90s okay. and 
then at there, another shift happened where I started to really uh, work in Mexico and sing in Spanish. And now then the Lord started challenging me to sing in different languages. So now I would say I was in cross-cultural right, singing. Right, right. Really an outreach for ministry in right. terms of missions effort. Right. Have you ever thought in your whole life that your songs would have such an impact in so many people's no, lives? No, I mean, I'm just blown away mm -hmm. that they do. And the more I realize it, the more I'm grateful that mm -hmm. I just obeyed. You know, the Lord said, I have a plan for your life. And if mm -hmm. you'll obey me, I'll cause that plan to unfold. But I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. And I even when I started singing, I didn't realize what the impact would be. But I'm very grateful to be preaching the gospel all these years and oh, yes. what God's done with it's awesome. Well, we're so grateful Thank too, because it doesn't matter whether it was in 1978 or today, your music still touches, revives, convicts, and refreshes. So thank you. Appreciate Cornerstone TV and everybody here that's working hard to make this happen tonight. Um, and I just want to close with one of my favorite Jesus Movement songs of all time. This was written by Larry Norman, and it's called I Am a Servant. I am a servant. sit here waiting I've been looking at the game that I've been playing I've been staying much the same when you are lonely you're the
the Bible tells us it's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. That we're not saved by works, but by grace, through faith. It's the blood of Jesus that's applied to us that cleans us up so that the Holy Spirit can come and live inside and give us the power to change. Amen. So tonight, I just want you to think about it. Ask Jesus to come in and be your personal Savior. He'll do that if you invite him. So let's close by singing this chorus together. I really enjoyed her music, not to mention her heart and passion for sharing Jesus. Honey Tree happens to be a friend of mine, and I can tell you, she is a treasure for the kingdom. Thank you for watching More Than a Song. Contact us at family at ctvn.org or call us for prayer. Until next week, keep looking for the message behind the music and listen for the new song he sings over you. I'm Denise Graves, and I'll see you next week. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.